What is it now? Hound, this is HQ. Please report on the status of units to be deployed to the new Void Vessel. Target code VV072. This is a Nezef Hound. All personnel are currently deployed on other operations. Be advised that only one unit is available. Please confirm whether Descendant support has been greenlit. Operation cannot proceed without Descendant reinforcements. Over. That is currently under discussion. The operation must proceed regardless, so please be ready on your end as soon as possible, Hound. Sorry to keep you waiting, Descendant. The situation is critical. Let me explain why you've been called in. An unidentified Void Vessel has been discovered in the Void Abyss. We have contacted Hound, the unit responsible for dealing with Void Vessels, but it seems they are short-handed. Apologies, you might not have heard of Void Vessels. Descendant, do you remember the wreckage of large ships floating in the Void Intercept battle location? Void Vessels is the name we have given to these wrecked ships and massive amounts of debris drifting in the Void. Hound is a unit dedicated to searching Void Vessels. When a new Void Vessel appears, they are the first to move in, scouting for threats, securing the space, and exploring it. However, Due to the physical demands of surviving in the Void, they only have a few members. They have descendants in their ranks, but they are extremely few and far between, leaving the unit constantly short-handed. So it's not uncommon for them to request descendant support, but now is not a good time. As you may have noticed, the reason I called you here is to deploy you on this operation. Someone with experience and understanding of Void Space as well as the capabilities to deal with any eventuality. Well, you are the only one who fits the bill right now. We need to explore this Void Vessel. It was found in the Abyss, which we have not been able to survey until now. Go and see Inez and Keelan, the Hound Descendants. They will assist you. I'm counting on you, Descendant. <laughs> It's the Descendant! Look, Kaelin! I was right, wasn't I? 
I told you HQ would send reinforcements. Looks like I won that bet. Oh, <laughs> this is great. Drinks for me all night at the Brown Beard. I don't mind you drinking all night, but just stop talking. You talk too much. No, I'm gonna talk as much as I want all night long. Oh, right. I'm Inez Rea, a descendant with Hound. Nice to meet you. This is the first time I've worked with another descendant. I was assigned to Hound as soon as I finished my descendant training. My unit is only sent on missions to avoid vessels, so we rarely run into other descendants who might be heading to intercept battle locations. Hey, Keelan, haven't you two met before? You were in the Descendant call before coming here. Don't know. Don't really care about other people. Oh, you know, every time you behave like this, I have to just take a deep breath. If I didn't, I might hit you on the head. For goodness sake, why can't you just get on with people? You get along fine with Jeremy. What's your problem? None of your business. I'm dealing with it. Sure you are. Anyway... How long are you going to leave the Descendant just standing there, Inez? I was just about to explain. So, Descendant, we'll keep you fully briefed about the mission, but you'll find a Void Vessel very different from the Void Intercept battle locations you're used to. We don't know what traps or hazards it might have, so you'll need to be more careful than usual. It won't be easy, but I heard that you're quite the star in the Descendant Corps. I'm sure you'll do just fine on Hound missions too. It's a shame I can't come exploring with you. I could be a huge help. But I've only been back from the Void for a few days, so I can't go with you. You know, too much exposure to Void energy being dangerous and all that. I'll do what I can from here to help you with whatever you need. All right, Descendant? Let's do this. Keelan, you could say something encouraging too. Good luck on the mission. Let's try not to get in each other's way. <sighs> he's got a bit of an attitude problem, but he's also got a heart of gold. So please don't be offended. Sincerely, Inez. I don't understand, Alpha. Why have I been excluded from this operation? I'm the only descendant who has any experience with the Void Abyss. Aren't I the logical choice for this? No. As your commander, I will not allow it. Alpha! You're right. No other descendant knows the Void Abyss better than you. But can you really tell me that's the only reason you want this mission? You and I both know that it's not. Besides, you lead a team now. Are you going to simply abandon them? <sighs> All right. If you have something to say, let's talk. You're here because you're worried about me. Well, there's no need. When it comes to the Void Abyss, my emotions tend to get the better of me. HQ made the right call to leave this operation to Hound, and they were also right to choose you to support this operation. Personal feelings need to be left out of the equation if we want to achieve our overall goal. All the right decisions have been made, and it's for the best. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel apprehensive. As someone who's been to the Void Abyss before, I have to warn you. Never, ever let your guard down. Not even for a moment. You must stay as calm as possible, even if you're under immense pressure. Keelan's experience and understanding of Void Vessels doesn't count for much. There are no guarantees in the Abyss. You'll be put under a tremendous amount of external force while you're conveyed to the operation site. If you lose consciousness at any point, you'll fall into the void and drift there. 
So stay focused and channel your RK as much as you can. That's the only way we'll be able to locate you if something happens. Remember what I've said, and come back safely. Descendant, I have something to tell you. Please come and see me. You are here, Descendant. I have something to tell you concerning the Void Abyss. The Void Abyss is a place that is unknown even to me. I cannot find anything about it in my systems. I have searched the records of Albion headquarters for solid information. But unfortunately, there are very few documents about the Void Abyss. One thing I have discovered is that Void Energy is very strong in the Abyss, and there are elements there that do not exist in Ingress. Void Energy has a negative effect on the RK of Descendants. You and I are linked by RK, which means our link could be broken. For now, I can only hope that our link will remain intact. But there are no guarantees. I will look into a way to stay linked to both you and Keelan for as long as possible. Please acquire as much data as you can from the Void Abyss and VV072. When you return to Albion, I will analyze the data and plan our next course of action. Have you completed preparations? There you are, Descendant. I've been informed that you're to be deployed on a reconnaissance mission to the newly discovered Void Vessel, VV-072. Void space is full of uncertainty and danger. The remote abyss will contain greater threats and be even more unpredictable as well. Which is why you need to be more cautious. The most important thing is not to lose consciousness while traveling into the Void Abyss. Traveling into the Void Abyss involves crossing dimensions, and will subject you to immense gravitational pull, close to ten times the gravity of Ingress. Traveling to avoid intercept battle location is a walk in the park compared to this. As Ajax likely told you, if you lose consciousness, you could end up drifting in the Void. Even a slight lapse of concentration could knock you off course. Even getting to the operation site itself could prove to be a challenge. But I believe in you, Descendant. I'll activate the Void Radar once you're ready. You heard, Seneca, yeah? You better get your act together, unless you want to be MIA in a Void. about a descendant <sighs> still in void space stay where you are until the rendezvous I can handle it myself let's get this operation going
I need a status report. I'm searching the interior. This is... What's happening? Gunfire. Keelan, the signal is on the move. I know. Mistake. It's just an ordinary dog. The signal is still responsive. It might have something to do with the ship. Oh, no way. Keelan's RK metrics are stabilizing. This dog is not as ordinary as it looks. Communications are Keelan, abort! Get out of there now! HQ! Check your comms! HQ! This facility is... Descendant? You're finally here. Took you long enough. While you were lost in the void, there was an incident which meant the Volkers jammed our communications with HQ. Unfortunately, I'm in a difficult situation at the moment, and I can't engage. I heard a Volkers here all of a sudden. Damn it! I don't know. I'll try to get the comms back up once you've lured the Volkers out. I've got the objective locked down, so I need you to do some of the heavy lifting.
guessing VV-072 was already under Volga's control. There are equipments all over the place. Wait a minute. They're just passing. They have equipment everywhere. That's why our comms are down. Saving their jamming device. Our comms should be back up soon.
HQ, come in. Caleb, you're alive. And I can also confirm the descendant's biosignal. Caleb, your biosignals are unstable. <sighs> it's just a scratch. That's more than a scratch. Kaelin, descendant. I'm glad you're both alive. I was terrified when I heard we lost comms. Don't worry, I'm fine. And the dog, the doggo is fine too. This dog, it's like he's reading my thoughts. As if it's connected to my arcade. I thought to myself, stop barking, be quiet. And then it stopped. It's intriguing and cute. Well, that's a shock. I didn't know you liked dogs. No small talk during operations, it is. I like cats too, by the way. No small talk during operations. Why, you... You just wait till I get back. You can see each other shortly. You are to cease operations and return immediately. Keelan, I have your current coordinates. Transferring you to Albion now. Okay. See you in Albion, Descendant. Transferring the Descendant next. Wait! Descendant, we have detected communication packets concentrated at a specific point. I apologize, but this data needs to be verified. I will send the target zone to your receive.
Fortunately, it seems you were able to stop them before all the data was erased. Well done, Descendants. Please return to Albion. Descendant, please report to HQ immediately. Do you think that strategic planning is easy? In the time that we have been able to observe the Void Abyss, we've run into a problem. It seems that the Colossi in the Void Abyss that we've observed have also spotted Ingress. Seneca believes that our ability to observe the Void Abyss is due to the reduction in space between the Void and Ingress. If Seneca's hypothesis is correct, it also explains how the Colossi in the Void Abyss were able to detect Ingress. The problem is that the wavelengths of the Colossi that have been detected are different than normal. They are several orders of magnitude above standard. It is probably the largest reading ever recorded for a Colossus. Inez is investigating to see if this phenomenon is related to the exploration of BV-072. As soon as we have more information, I will pass it along. Please head to Intercept immediately. I wish you the best of luck, Descendant. Descendant, I know the situation is urgent, but I have information to relay to you. I will be waiting. Traces of a special wavelength in the Colossus energy that Seneca identified. A trace that only I can detect, thanks to my void energy sensory amplification algorithm. It is very faint, but it is a trace of RK. Of course, it is possible that the RK trace on the Colossus is a result of a number of coincidences. It would not be surprising if a Colossus who fought a battle with the Ancestors in the distant past retained these traces in the aftermath of the battle. Colossi are also still shrouded in mystery for the most part, so I would not be surprised if some of them have powers related to Arche. Descendant, we need a sample to determine why this Colossus has Arche traces on it. I will collect the data once you have intercepted it. Descendant, I'm glad you made it back safely. I heard the amount of pressure in the Void Abyss was huge. And yet you still managed to complete the operation. You really are talented. I'd love to have you join our unit. Wouldn't that be great, Keelan? Sure. They're useful enough. They don't get in the way and they can hold their own. Thanks to you, the mission was a success. You did well, even though you weren't trained for it. Ines. Why are you looking at me like that? Wow! The Void Abyss really is a scary place. It's changed your arcade traits, and now it's even changed your personality. I've never heard you compliment anyone before. Keelan's still in there somewhere, right? <sighs> never mind. Descendant, you should pay HQ a visit. I hear they're preparing a follow-up operation. Inez. I've got to drop by the Magister Research Institute. I'm a little worried about that doggo we rescued. Wow. I swear that didn't sound like Keelan. I didn't know he liked dogs. Thank you. 
Have you completed preparations? Descendant, I know you fought your fair share of intercept battles, but this one will be a real challenge. The enemy shows the highest void energy readings of any Colossus I've ever observed. Yet the Colossi that we've dealt with so far fall within what we consider a normal range. Well, this one far exceeds that. At first I thought it must be a mirror. But you are about to face the most powerful Colossus you will have ever encountered. Please, be careful. I'll begin preparations to intercept right away. Are you ready? about the Colossi. Descendant, I've been waiting for you. First of all, thank you for your hard work you put into this operation. An impressive achievement for your first Void Vessel exploration. It's no wonder Hound wants to recruit you. It's not entirely because of that success, but it has been decided that for the time being, you'll be assigned to Void Vessel Exploration missions. VV-072 is unlike any Void Vessel that we've discovered so far. It doesn't look like a Volgus ship, and I'm concerned that the Volgus have already taken control of its interior. Also, the Volgus seem to be using a dedicated exploratory force similar to our Hound unit, we need to find out what they are doing on VV-072, and what they are looking for. Descendant, I want you to conduct a second search operation. I'll contact Hound to assist you. Well, I didn't expect you to be rushed into another operation this fast. While we're here, Descendant, can you come and see me for a moment? ready to undertake a void intercept battle assignment. There you are. I'm as confused as you are by HQ's decision. A redeployment so soon after your return. Though I can see why HQ ordered it. It's the Void Abyss, after all. And there are Volgus all over VV-072. And, unfortunately, the data you collected contained very few valuable leads. Plus, the unexpected Volgus presence. I suppose HQ had no choice. The presence of the Volgus on VV-072 means it's likely they're also looking for something there. Probably information that could give them an advantage over us. Traveling into the Void Abyss isn't easy, even for the Volgus. There must be something important for them to take that risk. If VV-072 is a Volgus ship, they have the advantage. We won't be able to stop whatever the Volgus are planning if we fall behind now. That's why a second sweep is absolutely necessary. Kaelin's right. So I pulled something together as well. This device contains a code to break the Volgus algorithm. When the specialized code loaded onto this device is activated, it will automatically collect Volgus records from all over the Void Vessel. Analyzing those records will tell us why the Volgus came to VV-072. I'm counting on you, Descendant. Descendant, I hear you're planning further operations in the recently discovered Void Vessel. I have a favor to ask. Can you come to the Research Institute?
I am analyzing the void paradox. 